welcome back guys welcome back to my channel today in this tutorial i'll show you guys how to create this a nice green effect in adobe illustrator there are a couple of ways you guys can create this green effect for an example you guys can use green brush to create this effect also but in this method i will show you guys how to use some filters to create this green effect okay so let's get started First, I'm going into this layers panel and let's create a layer name called BG. This is for the background. And for the background, I'm going to use a rectangle in here and draw a rectangle to cover our entire artboard. Okay, looks good. And for this, we don't need a stroke. So I'm going to select the stroke in here and I'm going to select none for the stroke. And for the fill color, uh, let's apply a purple color, a dark one around here. All right. And I'm just going to lock this layer and going to create a new layer. In here, we will uh, create our art shape. Okay. And for the art shape, I'm going to select the ellipse tool. And first, I'm going to draw an ellipse like this in here. I think this shape looks fine. And for this, let's apply a different color so that we can easily see. Later, we can change to actual colors. I think this looks better. All right. And now I'm going to select the direct selection tool and I'm going to select this top anchor point and press S so that when you make changes to one side, the other side also will affect example if you make it like this you can see both sides are getting the same shape okay all right so i want to shape something like this in here all right maybe we can bring this one a little bit to the top like this okay and for the bottom also i'm going to select this one press s and bring it a little bit wider like this all right and now with the same direct selection tool, I'm going to select these two anchor points and I'll bring these to top like this. Okay, yeah, this look better. And we can make this one even more round like this. And press S again and make it a little bit more, less curvier, all right? Okay, I think this look better. We can adjust it later on also. Now select this um, and go to your rotation tool, which you can find it inside in here and select the rotation tool and double click, which will open this rotation tool. 45 degree is fine. And I'm just going to select OK. All right. So now we have this shape in here. And again, I need another copy, a reflected copy so that we can have the other side also. So go to the same tool in here, select the reflection tool, and again, double click and vertical is fine, but we need a copy. So select the copy. All right, so we have our reflected shape in here. Now we can bring this shape to here, around here. So you guys can guess what I'm doing already. I think uh, this shape looks better. Okay. And now select all of them, all of these objects and go to Pathfinder. If you guys don't have Pathfinder in, you, in here, you can go into your windows and select the Pathfinder window from here. Okay. And in Pathfinder, we are going to divide each of them into individual pieces. To do that, you need to select this divide option in here. So select both of these objects and press on divide. Now we have divided each of them into individual pieces, but they are grouped together. So now I'm going to right click and ungroup them. Okay, so now we have each of them as different objects. Now I'm going to delete these. We don't need these. So select this, delete this one also, delete. All right, so now we have this nice art shape, but for our design, we need these two together as one object. So you can select these two and go into Pathfinder again. And this time we are going to select Unite option. So once you select Unite, we have converted this into 
one shape, all right? So before we continue, we need to do some cleanups to this work because when you use Pathfinder, it will add in extra anchor points like this in here. We don't need too many anchor points in these places and in here also. So let's, uh, first thing, let's clean up those things. So you can select both of these objects, go to objects and go to the path and in here, select the simplify option. Okay, so when you select the simplify option, click on the automatic uh, simplification and you can see our shape didn't change. So we can just leave as it is. And now if you go in and see, we have only one anchor point in here, same in here also. So it will add in minimum number of anchor points with the same shape. Okay, so this is important so that you can easily edit your shape in the future. All right, okay. And for this, I'm going to apply a different color for now so that we can easily see what's going on. Okay, so a little bit darker tone. Okay, good. All right, so let's start modifying this shape. Again, I'm going into the direct selection tool and I'm going to make this corner, this pointed corner, let's zoom in a bit, a little bit rounded corner. Okay, to do that, you can simply select the anchor point and make it a little bit rounded corner like this. Okay, looks good. And I want to make this one as wrapped around this object. Okay, for that we can change the shape, but it may affect our original design. We can easily do that with our pen tool. Let's select the pen tool in here. Make sure you're not selected any object. Select the pen tool and draw a shape like this. Okay, go in here, I think until here. And now we make it like a an arc shape like this so that it will look like it's wrapped outside. And again, you can click on the anchor point so that it won't affect our next anchor point. And let's go in here and draw a shape like this. And now again, click on this anchor point. Now you can bring it in here and close the shape. Okay. All right, this look better now. You can zoom in and see if there is anything we need to add in. So this area need to change a bit. So you can just go into the pen tool and add an anchor point in here and select the direct selection tool and bring it towards here. All right, now you can select these two objects and make it as one object, okay? And again, if you want, you can go into the object path and simplify path okay make it as auto now we have our anchor points properly placed which the shape look nice okay so this is the shape we are looking for now we can place this in here into the center like this now let's start working on the colors so let's apply uh, proper colors for this shape and uh, first I want to define the light source. So I'm going to say the light is coming from this side, uh, like this in here. So these areas will be brighter. And when you go in further, these areas will be darker. And in here we will have a darker shadow from this shape, okay? So let's start doing that with the gradient first. Okay, for this one, I'm going to apply a gradient. Okay, instead of fill, uh, solid fill color, I'm going to apply a gradient and this gradient press G or you can select this gradient and change the angle of the gradient from top to bottom like this in here. And for the white color, let's go in and change it to RGB. And for this, I'm going to get a color maybe around here, almost towards here, okay. Later on, we can change, don't worry. And for the darker tone, again, I'm going to change this to RGB. And this one, I'm going to change something like this. A little bit darker. All right. This look fine. And maybe let's bring this one to the center like this. And let's add in another gradient point And let's make it a little bit more yellowish like this. All right. Okay, looks good. 
and I'm going to apply the same color first for this gradient also and then we can change to a little bit more darker tone so select this shape and press I or you can select the eyedropper tool and get the colors from here okay and for this again press G and now you can change the angle of the gradient from here to here okay it should be on the reverse side so let's go in and change it to reverse okay and now i'm going to take out this yellow color and let's bring this one to the corner and this one i'm going to bring it to the center maybe like this and add in another anchor point this one let's make it a little bit more darker like this all right so this look better all right guys so this is the shape and color i'm looking for now this is our basic shape this look nice but we need to apply the grain effect to our shape so what i'm going to do is uh, let's keep this one in one layer and i'm going to create a new layer now select this ctrl c and select the new layer and shift ctrl v which will place the same shape on top in this layer okay and now we have two layers with the same object we can hide this one for now and you can see this is an individual layer and for this i'm going to change the colors okay and uh, first i'm going to apply the grain for the uh, highlighted area later we can add in a shadow layer as well okay first select this one and uh, we don't need two one is enough and for this uh, one side i'm going to select almost a yellow tone like this and the other side let's make it a little bit more darker or maybe lighter we, because we are having a, sh a shadow layer separately so we can keep this one lighter this one make sure you are making it uh, very contrast to the original colors and same for this one also we don't need uh, three points and this one let's make it around here maybe here yellow and the other side we can keep a little bit more darker like this and i'm going to change this angle also press g and let's change it to something like this okay and yeah, this look fine all right now we have our bright layers uh, but we can't directly use them we need to make them like in here we need to have uh, 100 percent opacity but when you go in further we need to have less opacity so we are going to do that using the transparencies you guys can go in and do windows and activate the transparency if you don't see this in here and first i'm going to select this object and ctrl c again copy the shape and again you have to paste it on top shift ctrl v which will place the object on top exactly from the earlier copied shape okay if you see we have two objects in here and for this i'm going to apply black color and for other side i'm going to apply a white color okay same as photoshop mask this will also work similarly now you can select both of these objects go into the transparency and make a mask now if you can see it's the mask is affecting the shape in here if you select the mask if you bring in the darker portions even more you can see these areas are becoming less opaque okay same i'm going to do for this shape in here also now we have to select this object now come in here select the shape again ctrl c and shift ctrl v and for this also one side i'm going to apply a darker tone this one in here for the other side I'm going to apply a lighter tone. Okay. Again, select both of them, make a mask. Now select the mask, and you guys can adjust the mask in here like this. All right. Okay. Now select this mask. Okay. This mask and go to the effect and go to the uh, textures in here and apply a grain effect okay so this is the grain effect we are looking for uh, i'm going to stick to the basic settings and for the grain type i will select the enlarged also okay just select okay now you guys can see our grain effect has been applied to this uh, shape in here to the opacity 
but our original shape is still in vector so i can select this vector shape and same for this one also select the mask not the shape select the mask and go to effects and apply the green effect from here all right now you can go back to the shape and select the bottom shape in here now we have this nice gradient uh, texture for these highlighted areas so we are going to do the same in one more time for the shadows okay for the shadows let's uh i can lock this layer again and create one more layer underneath the highlighted area and again you guys can copy this shape in here Control c now you can go into this uh layer shadow layer i should have named properly let's name them shadow and this one will be highlight and this one is the basic shape okay so let's go into the shadow layer and shift ctrl v which will place it on top you can hide other layers for now and this time the shadow is going to be from here for this shape we will have another shadow from bottom to top but for this shape select this and make it a little bit smaller also like this okay so the outside areas will be a little bit more brighter okay because this is directly facing the light and for this i'm going to change the gradient from here to this side starting from here to this corner and again we don't need too many points and for this i'm going to apply a darker tone maybe this one in here and for the other side you can have it a little bit lighter like this okay and for this one also get the colors from here and you can press g again maybe let's bring it towards here and this one also I'm going to make it a little bit more darker okay and you can add in another color also in here so we will have a little bit more darker in these areas and this one again same thing okay and one more this one a little bit more darker like this all right again select this ctrl c and shift ctrl v this one again i'm going to select black and one side is Y. All right. Now select both of these objects again and make a mask. Now, if you guys notice, it's showing these areas clearly. These areas are not visible properly. So we can reverse that easily. Select this one and invert mask. Okay. So now we have these uh, areas visible properly. And when you go in further, it's becoming uh, less opaque. Okay. So we can change this also. Select the gradient. And now we can draw something like this you can bring it almost below like this okay now you can select the shape now for this shape select this ctrl c and shift ctrl v which will place on top you guys can bring this one behind back and for this again one side black the other side white okay select both of them make a mask and now we can reverse invert mask and select the mask and press g and you can make this portion visible and when you go in further we will have less visibility okay all right and again select the mask shape go to the effect and apply the gradient and in here also and in here also select the mask shape and go to effects and apply the grain all right so we have the shape in here select the shape now uh, you can go back to our layers and activate all our layers all right guys so i have divided them into layers to explain it to you guys now we don't need this layer you can see it's not coming properly because the layers are behind so we what we can do is select all of them and bring this into one layer this one also and in here also you can select all of them and bring into one layer okay we don't need these two layers now select all of these right click and arrange send it to backwards and we have our shape now we need to do some changes to uh, the shape 
Now select this layer in here, the dark shadow layer, and let's bring it down a bit in here. And, and for this shape, this shadow looks very dark. So what we can do is we can bring down the opacity a little bit, not too much, little bit, and also we can bring down the mass opacity a little bit less in here as well. To do that, select the mask in here and you can select this black gradient point and bring down the black color a bit. So you can do that easily by going in here and adding in a value or you can create a new anchor point in here which will create a lighter tone based on the color in here and you can delete this now and this one you can bring it to the corner. So I can see the dark area has been removed a bit. You can do that again if you want to. Just select and delete. Okay, so this looks better now. So we have a very light shadow area in here. And when you go in further in, you barely see the shadow. Okay, but in here we need this shadow. So you have to select the shape first to come out of this uh, mask and now you can select this in here, this uh, shadow layer and if you guys want, you can make it a little bit uh, lighter. So select the mask layer and you can bring this one a little bit in like this, okay? All right, this look better now. Now we have this nice green effect to this shape. Now you guys can delete these two layers. I don't want this. And now we can add in a little bit more detail to this shape to make the artwork finalized. And guys, using this method, if you guys want to change the gradient placement or angle of the gradient, you guys can easily do that with this method. You can easily select the gradient. I'm going to select the lighter one in here. And now you use easily can select this gradient press g and now you can change it to any side you want now if you notice you can easily change the position of gradient like this but if the same way if you guys use grain brushes to achieve a grain effect in your artwork you cannot easily change uh, your gradients like this you may have to redraw everything again so you have to consider that when you are designing the grain effect using grain brushes so you guys need to consider that all right so i'm going to lock these uh, grain layers first this one also all right so now we have only the shape layers in here now i'm going to make a copy alt and drag this one also alt and drag okay now select these objects and convert them into strokes instead of fill colors and now we go into our properties windows and increase the stroke width maybe 12 this one also 12 all right and this let's bring it in here right click arrange bring it to front and this one also I can bring right click, bring it to front. For now, later we can arrange them. Place it in the correct place. All right. All right. Now select these and go into the stroke and make sure you your stroke line is inside. So select the inside to this one in the center. Same for this one also. Make sure the stroke is inside. All right. So we have placed them inside properly. And we can adjust them, bring it to the top. All right, we can adjust this one a little bit below. Like this. Now select both of these strokes and go to the transparency window and change it to screen. All right, this one you can adjust a bit. Like this is fine. Okay, so now we can uh, go into the layers again. You can unlock all of them and select these. Right click, arrange, send it to backwards. All right. So now we have this nice uh, line outside. And now I'm going to select these stroke layers and go to object and expand appearance. So the stroke will become fill. And all right. And I'm going to bring this one a little bit outside. And now I'm going to make a copy, Control C, Shift Control V again, place it on top. And for this gradient, again, you guessed it, I'm going to apply black one side and white on the other side. 
and for this we can select both of these and make as a mask okay and we can bring it again in here to the correct place like this and select the mask and change the angle of the mask to here okay so we only want to see this in here okay and for this one also bring it in here a bit and control c shift control v for this one side black the other side white and select both of them make a mask and select the mask layer g and we need something like this we only want to see this portion and we can now select the shape layer and bring it in here all right okay cool looks good so now we have that nice shininess to these edges as well you can bring it a little bit down all right finally i'm going to add that uh, shiny line in here to that i'm going to use the pen tool I'm going to make an anchor point and one in here and one in here and let's make it arc shape like this to go with the shape okay and we can make the thickness to 12 12 oops 12 and go to the stroke and make the stroke caps as rounded caps and let's zoom in i want to cut it in here so let's add one anchor point in here select the plus anchor point add one anchor point and one in here and one in the center and delete okay so now we have this shape again go to object and expand expand the stroke now we can apply a fill color and for this again i'm going to copy ctrl c and shift ctrl v and for this i'm going to apply a light gray tone like this and fill apply green okay select both of them make a mask and we have our green effect and for this i'm going to change this to overlay all right so it will blend with the background color and we have our green effect as well okay all right guys so let's start drawing our mouth shape also for that i'm going to draw an ellipse first okay and for this i'm going to change this to half circle so you can go in here and make this one as uh, 180 so we have our half circle okay and i'm going to make another circle ellipse and draw a circle like this and this one i'm going to bring it like this okay and for this i'm going to change the colors okay from gradient and i want a rgb and one side i will have this and for the other side i will have something like this okay maybe this one we can change to a little bit yellow tone all right and i'm going to select all of them make sure it's in the correct position first i think this look better yeah this look better now select all of them and go to the pathfinder and divide them to individual pieces okay now you can right click and ungroup them and we don't need this portion now we have our mouth shape like this with the tongue and uh, for the mouth i will copy alt track and make one more copy and for this i'm going to apply a darker tone one side and other side i will have like yellow color okay and make sure the gradient is coming from top to bottom like this all right and 
this one again i'm going to get black one side the other side is yellow so let's create create press g and paste it something like that maybe a little bit outward all right and we can place this exactly on top like this all right select all of them and go to uh, the transparency and make a mask okay and in the mask shape go to effects and apply the green effect all right now we can bring this uh, shape to here and i forget to do one thing it's all right we can copy and make everything as one object and now i'm going to convert this to outline and this one i'm going to make uh maybe three or four just place it in here and for this gradient one side i'm going to apply a white color other side you can have the black color and this i'm going to change the blending mode to overlay later we can work on that one and now we need to draw another circle like this and for this we will apply a black tone and this one also we need half circle so go into here but this time we need to the top so i will apply 150 in here 180 in here and we don't need this anchor point and we need rounded caps so go to the stroke and uh, in here convert to rounded caps all right and let's place them in here and let's change this to 12 okay and one in here as well select both of them go to align and align them to the top now you can make this as a group and this one maybe let's bring it a little bit more smaller and in here make it as a group select all of them align and now let's convert this uh, rotate this to 45 degrees and let's bring it in here okay and place them in here like this all right and for the mouth this i'm going to change it to 12. this we can change the color as well fill color i'm going to change to maybe a red around this color okay maybe let's make this one a little bit more smaller and finally i will convert this to color burn so it will mix with the background nicely like this all right guys so that's how you can use the green effect and create uh, this type of artworks in illustrator thank you for watching see you guys in the next uh, tutorial